One word from God can change your life. That's why I've stepped out in the prophetic. My name is Kevin Bridges, and you're listening to Daily Prophetic. I see a border marker, a boundary marker, and the Lord says the boundary lines have fallen for you in pleasant places. Yes, truly you have a delightful inheritance. Be diligent in claiming that which is yours. Be diligent in standing upon my word and standing upon my promises. For that which I have destined for you is yours. It is there to take possession of. Like the promised land was theirs, but they needed to enter in. Trust and know that I am with you, that I am the one who is equipping you, the one who is enabling you to take possession of the land. But now is the time to step forth in faith. Now is the time to enter in, the time to take possession of that which is yours. The Lord says, enter my rest this day, enter my presence and receive my peace. For I am at work bringing renewal, bringing revival, bringing refreshment to you. Trust in me and entrust all into my hands, knowing that I am with you and knowing that I am the faithful one. Rest in me and allow me to show you what to do and when. Rest in me, knowing that I am with you, the God who brings you to a place of encounter. And from that place of encounter, from that place of intimacy, I will lead you forward, and I will show you the right things to do at the right time. Trust and know that I am there. Trust and know that I am bringing peace to your heart, a peace that the world cannot give, a peace that will change everything. I am with you this day. Receive my peace in you. Receive my presence. Know that I am with you, and that presence with you is what transforms you. That presence with you is what changes everything. I see someone sitting on a swing. As they sit there, they're contemplating the future. They're thinking about the things which could be, And they're thinking about the past, the things that have been, the things which they've done wrong, the things which they would change. And yet the Lord says, I want that you stop and that you live in this moment. For this is the moment that you can change. This is the moment which I am giving you grace for right now. I want that you enter into my presence, that you receive my peace anew and that you allow my spirit to work in you, to work in your life in this moment, in this time. Trust in me, and trust in my provision. Trust that I am there with you right now, and I will be with you in the future. I am the one who causes everything to come into alignment, the one who gives you my presence and my peace in you. Do not be afraid, do not fear. But put your hope and put your trust in me, for I am with you, the God of the present moment, the God who gives you peace. For my grace is sufficient for you. My grace is sufficient for you now, and my grace will be sufficient for you then. I am with you, and I am for you. Trust in me, and trust in my daily guidance. Trust in my daily provision. Trust that I am the one who makes a way forward for you the one who changes everything. I see a boat on the shore of a lake and I'm reminded of when the disciples were out fishing and how they'd fished all night. They'd caught nothing. Experienced fishermen and yet they had nothing to show for it. And then the Lord comes and he tells them to throw out their nets on the other side. To them it made no sense at all. You never fish in the daylight, you never fish on the sunny side, lest the fish see the nets and run away. And yet, with childlike, simple faith, they obeyed, not trusting their own understanding, not trusting their own logic or experience. They simply obeyed, and they were amazed. They were amazed because they brought in a huge catch of fish, They brought in much more than they could ever have hoped for. And the Lord says to you, 
as you let go of your own understanding, as you let go of your own experience, as you let go of that which makes sense to you. And as you do that, which I've told you, as you step out in faith and as you trust in me, you will see incredible results. You will see things happen which you do not understand and you will know that only I was the one who could do it. For I am the God of the impossible, the God who does more than you could ever imagine. I am with you and I am for you. Let go of your own understanding. Let go of unbelief and choose to believe. Choose to step out in faith this day, to step out in childlike obedience. I see someone walking into an orchard in the springtime. As they walk in, the trees are filled with blossoms. The birds are singing. The bees are buzzing around. Everything is full of life and simple beauty. I sense peace and tranquility. The fresh wind is blowing in the trees. And the Lord says, See, I did what I promised. See, I have been faithful. For look, though the winter was long, and though everything seemed to be dead, everything seemed to be lifeless, look around and see, for the spring is here, and everything has changed, everything has been transformed. Know that I am with you this day, that I am the God of new hope, the God of new life, the God of transformation. Do not be afraid. Do not look around thinking this can never change. But know that just as the winter gives way to the spring, so too situations will change. Situations will be transformed. Do not give up. Do not give up now. You're so close. Draw near. Draw near and receive my love and you. Draw near and know that I'm with you, that I am Emmanuel, the one who changes everything. I see two chocolate donuts and the Lord says, I'm giving you a double portion this day. I'm giving you that which will satisfy, that which will bring joy to your heart, that which will delight you. But I'm also giving you more. I'm giving you more than enough so that you can bless others, so that you can reach out and give my love to others. I'm filling you afresh. I'm blessing you. I'm blessing you to be a blessing. I'm blessing you to give out to others. I'm blessing you to share my goodness with those around. For I am with you and I am for you. I'm the one who loves you. And through you, I will show my love to many. I love you. I truly do. Receive that love. But receive it in a way that will cause an overflow. An overflow from your heart. An overflow from my heart to yours and from yours to others. Trust and know that I'm with you, that I am the one who causes you to delight in me, the one who causes you to know my heart. And my heart is a heart of generosity. My heart is a heart of love. Give freely to those around you and bless them this day. Give freely and know that I am with you. Know that I'm blessing you to be a blessing. I'm filling you anew with life. I'm filling you anew with love this day. I see an old book, a book with many pages and many stories, many short stories within it. And I see them all bound together. And the Lord says, I am the one who binds together the story of your life, the one who binds together the stories of your life. For there are many stories which I'm telling to you and through you. There are many testimonies that I give to you testimonies of how I've worked in your life, stories of how I've brought change and transformation. Your life is in my hands. I'm the one who holds it together, the one who holds the fabric of life together. Do not be afraid, but know that I'm with you. Together we're turning the page, and together we're writing a new story, a story of encounter and a story of love. Trust in me and trust that this day is a new story in and of itself, a new day of encounter with me. Look to me and trust in me. 
For there is much which I am doing this day, much which I will show to you, much that I will reveal to your heart. I am with you this day, showing my love for you and you. Come, let us write this story together, the story, a poem of your life. Would you like a personal prophetic word? Check out the website in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to get your daily word of encouragement. And whilst you're here, why not have a look at some other of the videos that I've made. God bless you and have a really great day.